Hey there, Adrienne Elise here. Welcome to the Gaia Daily for March 28th and 29th, 2020. How are you doing? Well, we are in the throes of a deep, dark, hidden spiritual battle we know we've been in for a long time and it seems to be coming to a head. And again, the message is coming through about how important you are at this time. And finally, it's time for you to come into who you really are. Get your hands dirty, meaning get cleaned up <laughs> and uh, be present in the light. The light is surrounding this dark monster and the monster is flailing and it has multi heads. And you and who you are and all you've experienced through lifetimes are being called to be present in the light of truth of who you are. Now, part of the distraction energy that's going on right now is like pulling us into this war between truth and reality. Part of us trying to leave behind the Piscean age. And the message for these souls is that do not get into the fray right now. There is not really, it's not really about understanding exactly what's going on in this manifest world. It's more about coming into the spiritual truth of who you are and maybe validating and recognizing that we're in a spiritual battle. And this has been a battle that you fought over many, many lifetimes and perhaps whole evolutions. And here you are right now being given an opportunity to come to the front lines of who you are in your truth, in your bigger spiritual truth and be in that place. This is a spiritual revolution. It's also a spiritual revelation. And so much is being revealed. And I do think that we, a lot of what's happening right now in the world is about greater truths coming forward in the actual real world. But for now, these souls being called to be in your spiritual truth and know that the spiritual revolution is that revelation and waking up to the power of your consciousness and what your true path is and that's not coming to form yet for a lot of people like what exactly that looks like for a lot of these souls but right now you're getting a huge energy of validation around um the the more general energy of why you're here to hold space for the light to hold space for the spiritual truth and we don't need to know what that means in this world right now but in our heart, we do, because when you can allow yourself that permission to step inside, step outside the manifest craziness of the world right now, there is this beautiful, expansive energy coming in. And this is why you're here. And it's kind of like, we can stay distracted. And we have that choice right now. And everything around us is trying to pull us back into that energy. You know, these multi-tentacle monsters back into the psychological brain, into the problems of this world and how you're supposed to figure out how to fix it, even though you have no idea what's going on. And that's all this is like a bloom of everything we've dealt with over lifetimes in a very explicit way. And yet we are being asked to put it all aside right now and allow space for this beautiful energy coming in. The spiritual revolution, it's like our time has come and we're finally able to be in the frequency vibration that is more true to our heart and to our soul where we've been squished into this lower paradigm and it's been very uncomfortable. And so right now we're having the choice. Do you want to, out of responsibility, out of delusions, out of distraction, stay in the pen, stay in the matrix, stay in the lower frequency, or are you going to allow yourself to receive these vibrations? And little by little, we're making space more and more and using the power of our collective consciousness, these particular souls on the planet, taking a huge breath of fresh spiritual air, cosmic energy, life force, 
coming in, you know, and it's interesting because at the same time we've got a lack of oxygen going on as far as like the paradigm of what the distractions and what's really happening and the fear um, energy just and grief, you know, it's almost like the, the collective fear energy is rooted in collective grief and that is rules the lungs. And so it makes sense that this planned demic has to do with the lungs and our ability to breathe as well as 5G and uh, interfering with our ability to uptake oxygen. And we, what's going on right now is that you're being pushed over the edge into your greater spiritual abilities that you didn't even know you had. And you got to breathe in that spiritual light and breathe in the power of our consciousness, yours. And then when you can go there and be there, even for just a few minutes of a day, pushing through into the connection of the other souls that are like, wow, you know, when you can allow yourself, it feels so good. And this is a revolution of revelation. And the time has come finally for us to be free of the lower psychological matrix. But that takes diligence, moment by moment, uh, saying no to the distractions, saying no to the tentacles trying to come. And actually, this is a serving a purpose for you as a soul to show you what you've been dealing with lifetime after lifetime the energies around you, the karmic relationships, and all of the things that are, you know, that what this is, is a great revealing of the darkest, very painful truths for our society. And it's just like they're blooming up everywhere. And um, so it's kind of a big feat to ask you to be present in the light. And yet when you can, just for a few moments, you can feel the power of this spiritual revolution and the power that you get to play, the role you get to play in this experience and why you've gone through all of this garbage and why you've been stuck in this lower dimensional frequency, dragging this body around, unsupported, unrecognized, no validation. And now it's like, oh, okay, cool. Let's do this. Let's get to work. Okay. Now I wanted to talk about this incredible thing that's happening right here, right now, uh, the 28th, 29th and of March, 2020. And we've got today Venus in exact trine with Jupiter. Now, the amazing thing is that Venus, this is where we have to get like use this energy of this trine of Venus, trine Jupiter and Pluto to get back to the magic of the truth, the spiritual truth. And that lives in our heart. We had to put it away, compartmentalize it. You know, we had to deny it. We had to avoid it. We had to ignore it. And now it's time for that unboxing of our spiritual truth and our spiritual power of our consciousness. And that's what this is about. So Venus and Taurus, of course, we're talking about self-worth. We're talking about our inner resources. We're talking about permission for those inner resources. And it's interesting that this unveiling that's going on in the world has a lot to do with a very deliberate crash of the markets and uh, the delusion of our financial system. Because, you know, as we've talked about this, like Taurus and traditional astrology, it's all about money and resources and all that. But it's like where we are as souls and you guys in this evolution, you know, we know it's really about fully recognizing that we don't take that with us, even though it's not there's not it's not like a money resources are a negative thing. It's a neutral thing, but it's a, an expression in the physical world, right, in our true gifts our soul spiritual gifts that we've worked on for many, many lifetimes. And that's what we need right now. That's, that's the currency we need right now. And you are that currency. You are the Bitcoin of the spiritual revolution. And are you going to receive that wealth? And you can't receive that wealth and let it leak out into the distortions, the delusions, the fear and the trauma. You know, it's kind of like there's this higher part of you that's saying, you know, I want to come back into you. I want to come back into your full revelation of your full bigger consciousness, but not if you're going to just leak me out into the garbage, you know, and that's this Venus in trying to these planets. It's like 
you've got to create a container which has to do with the Mars energy and the Mars activation, the divine masculine activation, our willingness to create a container for ourselves to protect and honor what's right and good and true, to stand up and have a backbone and say, no, I am honoring my spiritual truth. And if you're not in alignment with that, whatever energies are out there, you know, all this manifested uh, craziness can't come in to my temple right? So we've got this Venus trine Jupiter exact today at 23 degrees. Now, this is really cool. I didn't even see this until today when I was looking at the energies. And remember back in November, that's when this whole chapter started was when we had that Mercury retrograde in Scorpio going into the depths of the shadowy energies, trying to reveal the deep, dark secrets that are keeping our evolution from moving forward. And of course, the delusions in our own consciousness, perhaps around our self-worth, right? Is that the darkness that we need to expose right now in this lightworker uh, group? And where we bought into that we were the disease and we were the problem and we were the reason for this darkness on the planet. It's just like, oh man, I can see where I bought into that, but it doesn't make any sense. And I'm so tired, right? Like these souls are so tired of this battle. And, and that's kind of this thing. It's like, even though we're talking about this spiritual battle, it's really about getting out of the battle and allowing the light to come in, you know, allowing that spiritual sort of truth of who we really are just shine through your being and be in that light of truth and get out of effort get out of the battle get out of the war um and so venus and jupiter in november went over the galactic center together right they came together and it was like this beautiful activation of the divine feminine of Venus being able to reach out above, just like Mars just had this divine masculine activation, Venus reaching out beyond all the stories she's been told of who she is in the lower evolution, you know, um, that black moon Lilith energy and Chiron in Aries, where, you know, this part, our healer part of ourselves has been um, rejected demonized and disgraced, you know? And so Venus and Jupiter going over the galactic center today and it, or in November, and it was like this big, beautiful, uh, divine timeline activation and light coming in like a lightning bolt, shaking up our lives, showing us what wasn't working, showing us what wasn't in support of, support of our greater, wider truth. And kind of that taking our everyday feminine, and raising her to the throne back into purified, back into that temple, which is kind of what Venus's path over this last six months has been about. Now, Venus and Jupiter together move from 23 degrees to 24 degrees in a trine, right? So they're not in conjunction, they're in a trine, which is the sweetest, most harmonious, supportive energy. Now, trines though, uh, squares and oppositions, you have to, you don't have to like, they'll come and get you, right? Like they're about pushing you into change. The trines we have to open up to, which is exactly this energy of Venus at home in Taurus, receiving the blessings of who we are on a spiritual being, as a spiritual being in the light. If we can just put aside all these stories for just a little while, for a few minutes and feel that light coming in, you can't argue with it. You know, so the part of us, the programming says, yeah, but do I deserve that light? Is it okay? I don't know. Is it really real? Um, I didn't, I do all these bad things in my past lives. And, you know, and it's like the light is so powerful. If we can just set it all aside and let it come in and be present with this greater, wider spiritual truth of who we are. So that's this Venus and Taurus. Now in trine, very harmonious energy. This is an earth trine, you know, so we're speaking of the earth, our physical body. We're speaking of the manifested reality. We're speaking of wealth and our inner resources, our self-worth. Uh, we're also in Capricorn talking about the manifested world the and also the power and control energies, you know, because these are coming into. So it's like Venus in trine is gently moving Jupiter into this exact conjunction with Pluto that starts tomorrow. And Venus in trine to Jupiter 
moving Jupiter into this conjunction, telling us that the power um, structures structural change that's required for us to move forward in our spiritual evolution has to do with our inner resources, our self-worth, and our bigger, wider spiritual truth. As Jupiter wants to shoot off into the stars, Jupiter is looking at the horizon of what's possible. Jupiter is uh, about our spiritual quest and our bigger purpose. And so it's kind of like coming to Pluto. Now, Pluto is a big power. They both have a big energy, right? And Pluto is about our power. It's about the unknown. It's about our spiritual psychic power and our fear of that power, which we've been told is destructive, but not when it's in alignment with our heart and the cosmic heart consciousness and the earth. It's just not possible, you know? And that's kind of where little old Venus is coming in, you know? And she's like, you guys, she's like elbowing her, elbowing her way in here. And she's just like, there's nothing that can stop this spiritual revolution, revelation. And like, let's get, let's get real with it. You know, let's come down to earth and Taurus. Let's embody and be here. You know, where our spiritual selves, the bigger part of who we are has not been able to fully incarnate. And now it's like rubber band. We're like being pulled home in into our body. So that comes with a whole other set of situations, which it's like you got the outside world and all the loyalty contracts and all this stuff coming up. But you also have your own inner turmoil around whether you deserve your bigger, wider truth, whether it's even true, whether it's even possible. Um, and yet it's like we've got to get put all of that aside of our psychological mind, you know, the lower matrix and the big, big distract, tentacly distractions of, you know, part of this distraction energy has to do with, you got to figure it out. You got to know what's going on in order to help, you know, and we don't, we don't, we gotta just put it all aside and be true to our spiritual light. And that means feeling better and feeling joy and those alpha waves and landing home. Um, and so what a sweet energy Venus coming in, elbowing her way in here and being like, we deserve our spiritual evolution. And the earth can transform, the earth is transforming. And the structures of our world must reveal the darkness in order to get to the light. And let's do it harmoniously but let's do it you know nothing can stop what's coming in this spiritual revolution revelation and that's kind of where you come in because all you're being called to do but this this is also the activation into your inner resources your inner spiritual gifts is to hold space in this wider truth of this spiritual awakening and remember that, you know part of these distraction energies that are pulling us from our truth and our purpose that have gone on for lifetimes, you know, and now it's time to be like, yeah, enough of those games. And every moment almost we're having an opportunity to be like, no, you know, this is why I'm here. Why are you here? Why did you go through all you've gone through, if not for this, to embody your spiritual light and truth for your full expression? And that's what we're saying yes to in our 24-7 meditation. And we're saying no to the distractions, you know, and um, it's of not of consequence to you that what's going on out there, it is not of consequence to you. And um, recognizing these distractions and coming back into our inner resources and enjoying that being like, oh my gosh, I have this huge purpose here. And I it's all making sense. And I'm redeemed, completely redeemed into the purity of your soul. And like your heart consciousness, you know, coming back into heart consciousness, into your connection with universe, into feeling like a child being held, supported in these energies of light and taking your place outside this. It's like inside. I'm seeing this picture of like going deep within to that cave, to that meditation, to that lodge, to the ceremonial space, right? And being present with the power, your shamanic power that you have developed over many lifetimes and evolutions. At the same time, we're being called to be completely outside of all these stories and take our place with the elders of light that are holding this evolution and why we're here and what we're doing, which is so much bigger and so much wider and so much more true than this little blip of this 
so-called whatever is happening in our world right now. So really potent and powerful. And to this weekend, you know, it's just like, put your eye, you know, keep your eye on the prize and be in the spiritual energy of like your permission for your spiritual wealth that's trying to land home and make room for it. You know, build that temple, make that room and be present. And there you're going to find your soul group. And there you're going to find the spiritual support that you thought abandoned you. That's been here all along, but you convinced yourself you were less than worthless. Which is kind of a silly concept, but I know that's how these souls have been feeling. uh, Beaten down lifetime after lifetime through this evolution. So, uh Venus trying to Jupiter, trying to Pluto and Jupiter as we begin this uh, days of Jupiter exact Pluto. Now that goes till the 6th of April. And so this next week is Jupiter exact Pluto. Jupiter trying to bring the light, the expansion, the possibilities, the opportunities, the bigger picture, the spiritual quest home to the breakdown of our structures. And um, bringing a, like a reality check. And now we've got, um, also, so then, so this weekend that's energy. Now Monday is a powerful day because Mars moves into Aquarius. So we've got, we're back into our divine masculine activation as Mars comes into conjunct. We're already feeling this conjunction. It's like we just, Mars just came off of its conjunction barely with Jupiter, with Pluto. And now in a conjunction with Saturn. So it's bridging, making a bridge, you know, between these planets and, and kind of bringing another really big piece of what's really happening that started in January with that Saturn-Pluto conjunction. And so this bridge is a bridge of righteousness and truth and the warrior that's a spiritual warrior now. You know, like Mars is ready to be that divine masculine and a different way of fighting which is about being like your resolve to hold that boundary, that container, you know, to be the Holy Grail for the spiritual light to flood into your life and put aside all of your trying to figure out who you are and what you're doing here and your next steps and your career and all that. And just, this is, this is the next step. And we're here in it together and the collective energy is really powerful when we can reach out and connect to our soul group. So on Monday, Saturn moves into Aquarius, Mercury comes out of its retrograde shadow, and it's going to be powerful. It's around the 11th, 12th um, at Easter, when Mercury moves into the sign of Aries. And I think that's there's just powerful astrology. So we'll keep up all the way through Easter. Um, And something major is going to shift, hopefully some truth bombs that can help us um, support us in the manifested world to support us in our spiritual mission right now. Um, But so Mercury coming out of shadow also on Monday, Mars moving into Aquarius into that exact conjunction with Saturn and Mars the warrior saying in Aquarius with Saturn saying, where? what how are we building you know what are we because saturn wants to build and in aquarius it's like okay we're working on the breakdown but what are we going to replace it with you know we've been in the demolition part of our structures and mars says that activated divine masculine mars is saying let's do it righteously you know, and I'm kind of seeing this energy of Michael and um, this sort of truth and slaying this monster dragon and this Mars energy being like the new world that we're creating has got to have some spiritual justice, right? Like we have been living in this horrible time of like just this big slap in the face for those of us who, you know, and it's kind of like, oh, you think you have a spiritual purpose? Yeah, your spiritual purpose is to be our slave and we own you and we control you and no matter what, you won't come into your spiritual power. And that's where this we're in this weird time because it's like, wait a minute, the veil's lifting and then Stockholm Syndrome, you know, which is like, okay, the, the gate is open, your pen, your cage. And then it's like, but, but I'm so used to this cage and it's what makes me feel safe. I mean, at least it's what I know, right? 
And, um, and yet these energies are just like our highest self manifested in this other timeline. You know, a future highest self is like coaxing us through our heart out of this cage and this pen. Um, and so that is a very powerful energy on Monday on the 30th as those things happen. Tomorrow also Uranus makes a move, a big move. Uranus is at about four degrees for so long in exact square to those nodes and it's moving to five degrees and um, that's bringing it into new territory um, from last year. It's kind of like moving into new territory. So Uranus and Taurus is new territory around our upset in our financial systems, the lies like and that's really interesting because there is evidence more and more coming forward around that this whole situation in the world may be giving us an opportunity for a whole a financial reset, which that's been in the works for many, many years. And that's exactly Uranus and Taurus energy. It's an awakening, you know, and our money system has been based on so many lies and control and stealing from us and hardworking Americans and, you know, people throughout the world and using your money for dark dark arts and dark nefarious things and um so we need a better financial system and that's part of that energy that's sunday so that and chiron's at five degrees now so that brings uranus and chiron back into an exact semi sextile meaning exactly one sign apart and so that's a powerful energy again awakening this chiron and aries this um the deep wounds over whether you know, a not you can survive as who you really are on the earth. You know, do you have permission to exist in your bigger star self? And it says, we've got, you know, Uranus is saying, yep, that means a revolution in our self worth and a revolution in what resources really are. You know, and part of the deal with the control energies is keeping us in survival mode, keeping us grasping for little straws and, you know, in poverty, consciousness and in trauma. Um, so we're not able to come into our wider spiritual gifts. Uh, and uh, that's but now it's like those that higher self energy extracting you out of the pen Um and as you come to the edge of the pen, I'm seeing in the cage, I'm seeing this energy of like these blooming and, re and uh, like almost like visions of past lives and energies coming forward that have to do with a cleansing and a purification. That's kind of this fire energy stepping into the fire. And of course, that fire has been it's almost like, okay, so the so the prison's open, you can get out of the cage now, but then there's a wall of fire. And this is this fear programming around spiritual initiation, around ascension energies that somehow that's wrong, bad, dangerous. It's going to hurt people. It's going to hurt the world, right? And yet it feels so good. How could it be bad? If you can just let for a few minutes at a time, let these energies come in of spiritual revelation. And spiritual revelation is the revolution. Spiritual revelation is the weapon, <laughs> you know, which isn't even a weapon, but and that sort of truth. And... um letting these spiritual energies are how we win and so there is this kind of facing um some feelings like the low so forth but also like beating yourself up over failure energies like why it took you so long to allow these energies into your life and all that stuff is blooming as you get to the edge and then there's the big fear programming and that you got to step through the fire and let it burn away all the lies of who you've been told you are and all the personality constructs unresolved from this and other lifetimes all of the the psychological constructs of the big brain the big control brain that wants us into the matrix and um step into that spiritual revelation and just little by little allow yourself it's like we're creating new neural pathways we're creating permission we're getting comfortable being like oh there's so much that's gone into in my past life pictures through this evolution in c c to keep us in fear of these energies. So we're going to have to cleanse that fear. And this is what's happening for these souls. So step into the light and find your soul group. Go deep within to that cave and deep and way out to know that the oneness holds all.
all of this is happening within the play, which means everything that's happening, which is so dark and ugly, which needs to come to the surface, but it's all about getting us back to God and truth and cosmic truth and creator and our highest self and our spiritual self and our spiritual truth. You know, we are the highest power in our true spiritual self, our true highest self, our future self. And that's where this Capricorn energy is coming in, breaking down all of these religious and old worn out structures around, you know, Father God and do you deserve and and then the the, the matriarch distortions of um, the matriarch, this cancer Capricorn axis. Wow, we have just beaten the drum of this one, huh? And just one more month, a little over a month of the North Node in Cancer, South Node in Capricorn. So it's like coming out from the power structures that said you didn't deserve. And in, in fact, you deserve more to be punished and to put into prison <laughs> and um, into the nurturing that's available in the bigger, wider truth of the cosmos that was always there. And it's hard to be like, oh my gosh, I played these stories out for so long. I can't believe it took me so long to get here. But it's okay, because now's the time. And what's important is for you to just step aside from all these tentacly distractions and allow that revelation to come into your heart it's your truth. It's your destiny. And that's what Jupiter is saying to us right now. And Venus and Trine, do you deserve your greater spiritual destiny? Because here it is being served up on a platter and it doesn't look like you thought it would, <laughs> you know, and the situations in the world, you know, don't seem like it's really a spiritual revolution or revelation. But here we are. And um, so it's actually a greater opportunity to put aside all of those a delusional, constructual, making sense of things in our little brain, you know, put it all aside and, and allow the light to come in. So thanks so much for being here, making it through all you have, living, being here, living in a body on this planet, breathing. And now it's time to really start living and doing it here in a body. So when these energies come in, life looks differently. It feels differently. It feels like you're floating along and being held. The colors, the everything, it's like you can feel it breathing. It's not physical. It's a new reality and it's glorious. So nothing can stop this spiritual revolution and you're on the front lines by allowing yourself worthiness and permission to receive these energies right now so great work and i look forward to seeing you soon i'm thinking about a meditation uh together if you're interested um on the fourth because it's kind of cool numbers of april 4th 4 4 2020 so 444 4, 4, which ends up adds up to 12 which is a creation energy bringing the parts and creating something more than the parts um, and, and building a new world of what we're doing here, stepping up to the plate in our role in the creation of this new reality and that we've held in codes in our DNA. So kind of like a, a DNA activation, it feels like, and of course, connecting with our soul group and being in the truth of our spiritual light. So look out for that. Uh, a meditation, a free meditation uh, event on 444, 44 2020, April 4th. That's next Saturday, a week from today. So I look forward to seeing you there. Hold tight in the light, and I look forward to seeing you soon tomorrow on the next update. Until then, I'm Adrian Elise. Namaste.